Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of the coordinate plane, specifically how we can rotate figures on the plane. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say we are starting with a random triangle in quadrant 1. You see the points labeled there A, B, C, and there's a few different rotations we can make. So what if we want to rotate clockwise 90 degrees? Now what that means is we're going to kind of go in that direction, 90 degrees. We want to take this particular shape and we want to move it down this way. Well, there is a transformation. And so the rule is you take your x and your y, you actually flip them. Your y becomes your new x, and then your x becomes your new y, but you make it negative. So watch what happens here. So a is going to be my 2, 2, right? So I'm going to trans form that into a prime. I'm going to flip the y. It's now my x, which is still 2. But my x is now my y, but it's negative 2. So I'm going to take 2, negative 2, and I'm going to label it right here as a prime. We'll do the same thing for b. So b is 3, 5. So that's going to become b prime. We're going to take our y, 5, turn that into our new x. And then our x becomes negative, goes to our new y. So we got 5, negative 3. So that's b prime. And then we've got c. And so we're going to follow that same pattern. 7, 3 becomes c prime. The y becomes a new x. x becomes a new y, but you make it negative 3 negative 7, so all the way down here, so this is C, and you notice how we have the same exact triangle, and it's still kind of oriented towards uh, the origin there, because we're rotating it around the origin. Now, here's one thing we need to know. This is the same thing as going counterclockwise, 270 degrees. So I just went around 90 degrees, because remember an entire circle, right? This is 0 degrees, this is 90, this is 180, and this is 270, all right? So if I were to go forward 90, I can also go back 270, because you would end up reversing these, right? You go 90, 180, and that'd be 270. It's the same thing. So let's see what happens if we go clockwise 180. It's a slightly different transformation, uh, but it's, it's pretty simple. Our x and y actually stay the same, but what we do is we just reverse the positive or negative. All right, so a is going to be 2, 2. So we're going to switch that into day a double prime. That's going to be negative 2, negative 2. So those are usually the pretty easiest to kind of hit right there, a double prime. And then B, right, 3, 5, is going to become B double prime, negative 3, negative 5. So negative 3, negative 5 is right there. That's going to be my B double prime. And then C, 7, 3, is going to become C double prime, negative 7, negative 3. So negative 7, negative 3. And there's my C double prime. And what I did is I just went around an extra 180. So 180 goes all the way like this. And it's the same as counterclockwise, 180. It, it just ends up going all the way uh, around to the other side. Now what happens if we go clockwise? You guessed it, 270. What happens there? Well, we have this rule here. x, y goes to, we're going to take a negative y. That becomes our x, and then our x becomes our y. And so we see it graphed here. It ends up in quadrant 2. But we also need to know that moving clockwise 270 is the same as going counter clockwise 90 degrees. Both end you with that same translation over in that next quadrant.